a fun warm up here. So all I've done is put some guttering down on a hurdle and three cones. And the players have to roll the ball down the ramp and sidestep in and out the cones and stop the ball as soon as they can. Each station has a blue marker. So if they stop the ball nice and early, they can put the marker down. So that marker is just there to show each player how early they've stopped it. To make it more challenging, add another cone. Other variations to this game could be use two balls and roll two balls at once. Use your racket. Use different sized balls or different movements. It's also quite easy to adjust the steepness of the ramp, making it a lot tougher. Or if you've got younger children, make the ramp less steep and use maybe a beach ball or a larger ball for the players. I've done this before where the players would have to roll the ball down the ramp and sidestep through the cones and then stop it with their racket and roll it into a goal. This was very effective for younger children and it was great to work on the early stages of the forehands and backhands. Here you can see this player nearest to us has used her racket and a big ball and she will get behind the ball nice and early and scoop the ball up and catch it. There are many creative fun progressions to this exercise. It's a case of looking at the players and looking at different skills and development areas that they need to focus on. So again, this is a piece of guttering I've just bought from a hardware shop. In the UK, it, I've bought it from um, B&Q. It didn't cost too much money. Uh, and I'm sure you can buy it in any hardware shop. It's just called guttering. Be creative with the cones, what you use, and I hope you've enjoyed this.